Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. A few of you wanted to see more to my dollhouse here so today we are going to take a deeper look into it. Um, I started in 2005 working on this house and I'm still popping things in there and uh, changing through a few things here and there um, but it's mostly done and um, yeah let's just get to it so you can see it. So here it is, my house in all its glory. I opened up the lid. I have this big plexiglass plate that I have uh, for dust covering over the house. I have a lot of info on this house on my homepage. I will link that in the info box below. I started with this room and then worked my way down. And then I went upstairs and made the upstairs here. Let's so start with the bedroom. There's so many details in here and the most of them I made myself. The little picture here I got from a friend and this little farmhouse I got from a friend as well. But everything else in here are totally made by me. And this one, this little screen here is my favorite piece. And here I have a tiny bundle of roses hanging. Uh, the doors in the cabin works, but it's so hard to get in there to uh, move with the doors, but they work. The little train I made myself. And the bed is like filled with stuff as well. That was a set I got uh, on a fair once or in a sales exhibition uh, that I uh, put together myself. And this little one is actually opening. See if I can do it with one hand. Oh, there we go. So you can put stuff in this one if you want to. These one cannot be opened. I want to show you the bed a little more. So there's a teddy and a book with real pages. That is actually from a friend as well. I think that's the only things in here. Those three. Um, and then we have the little place here with the picture and that is actually from a magic uh, card, magic game, magic card game where I cut out the pictures. I was really liking that picture and thought I am gonna use that one for this. And that cross here is a um, real mother of pearl and some family pictures lava lamps and this little drawer is a um, hundred percent working I made all the drawers one by one uh, and some of them actually have some things inside oh sorry about that here we have a belt put in and um, I'm not sure if there's anything in this one there is that small jewelries different jewelries so this little uh, cabin with drawers there's nothing in that one but this little cabin with drawers is kind of a little gem with hidden things in there it's not all of them that I have stuff in but they all works. Here there is underwear that is actually for a um, brat stall. The little wagon here with the small um, stackable wood boxes. A little teddy on a chair that I made myself again. And then of course there is this a uh, pearl curtain here because uh, I think that's neat and it's easier than making uh, doors. There's another little bag here that can be opened in the corner and of course the ladies um, oh I forgot the name of those jewelries and flowers and stuff like that. Oh and these flowers are not made by me either I got them in a treat from a friend and there is a little tiny flower or 
um, yeah, a tiny flower in this one. Then to the next room. That is actually filled up with things. So first of all, we have this little uh, suitcase that I made myself. And we have the closets and you can see the name of the woman living in this little castle is Chloe. And she have her different clothing for uh, walking outside here. Oh, and small hangers. Let me put that back on there. And then we have, whoops, the little table here with some um, things, some keys in there. And this little drawer here is also working. Oh no, but it is also working. And it's lined and I'm gonna take this little back here and place it back there. There we go. Then a little plant, some different notices, a little mirror, a hanging plant. And the little plane in there, I am very, very happy about that one. Uh, I made that myself of some scrap uh, wood pieces. Then some moving boxes. I actually don't know why they are standing here, but I think I had room for it. The cleaning card I made together with some friends. We all made one. And I thought mine was so cool, so I had to have it here. Then the little table with some keys and some stuff and a old-fashioned camera and a flower that fell down. Okay, I will have to look into that. Um, and some small keys here. Um, then the front door behind there and that actually opens. See if I can show you with my big hands, but that actually opens. Uh, taking the mat with it. A telephone on the wall. Plates. And boots. And another chair. And a lot of work tools. Um, the... Uh, drilling machine here is actually from Lego. Uh, these uh, screwdrivers I made myself. Stuff like that. And then of course we have the stairways that goes upstairs. I made this arch where you can go through to get into the library. And again I have lights in my lamps. I just don't uh, have the cords right now to turn it on. So let's go through here to the library. Let me take a uh, look further away. So here we have small angels hanging from the ceiling. And this little cuckoo clock. I'm very proud of that one. The calendar. And the globe I actually made myself. And it is turning so I actually think that turned out really really cool that took me a long time to color in the lands and stuff like that a horseshoe and this big furniture that is filled with books and stuffs and um, a lot of things here trying to get in there without ruining anything. Small um, prices. I got those from New Year's uh, crackers, I think they're called. No. Something, something, something. Then uh, the drawers can we really open again. Some of them hide small details. Not all of them, but some of them lot of tiny books and they all have pages in them then my parrot 
that's just a plastic figure I painted. Um, the microscope, I have a video on that one. Small uh, pistols, again, that is Lego, but I thought that they were fitting really nicely in there. The fish is from a friend. I painted it myself, but uh, I got the fish itself from a friend. Uh, there we have a small, um, right here, we have a small uh, wall thing with, with uh, DVDs inside of there. Um, a diploma on the wall, I think. Yeah, you can see that now. Then I... Um, cross stitch the little picture here and then we have this nice comfy uh, chair where you can sit and just have your feet up and relax and just enjoy life and something has fallen to the floor right here no that was just a little bag a little handbag I made once I think I have a video on that one as well the little lamp with the angel, the little sewing box here, I got that for helping a friend out on a sale exhibition. She was not able to get to the train, so we uh, helped her. Small butterflies in a picture, the door to the bathroom. And then I have a real stone in here, I got that from a friend telling me if you can make a a uh, place to place this little stone with some fun details and stuff like that. You can have it. So that's a real stone in there. And there's actually light in this one. And I have a real stone in this one as well. And the other one is just a rhinestone. But this one is also real. And from the same friend. And then the writing desk with some decoration around it and a lot of gift wrapping and stuff like that. The garbage can, a little uh, watch and the little chair and again lots of different things, candies and stuff like that, pictures of my husband and I and again the drawers here open let me see if I can get to it. There we go. And again, those are filled with small goodies and details. I actually don't know what that is. Oh, that's tape. Extra tape. Let me put that back in there and close that little drawer. And just a little teddy bear standing here. It's actually a plastic teddy bear, but I think it's really, really cool. Then let's go to the bathroom. Of course, I have a door to the bathroom, but that's the only where, where uh, only place where I have a drawer. I made this picture. This is oil painted, so that is one of my pictures. The toilet with water. In there that's actually just resin a little magazine Donald Duck magazine a bathing suit the pusher and some oh, ceramic a shower with a nice shower head and things in there and there's even a rubber duck towels and this little fan here, I got that from my grandmother on my father's side. And it was all yellow, so I painted it up. And I have had that for ages, and I love that I have it. So that's a memory of my grandmother and grandfather hanging right there. And it fits so well in this room, so I'm really happy about that. And this little shelf here is actually the lights. So there's light under there. And again, pictures of my husband and my daughter. My daughter and me. And my daughter. And a G 
geode that I made myself. I have a video on that somewhere. And again, some flowers, the um, Easter lilies there. I did not make those. Again, I got them in a trade. The same with the Easter lilies in... No, wait. The Easter lilies in that corner I made myself. They are actually a bit too big, but I think they came out really, really cute. Um... The little jewelry box there is also from a friend. And again, here you can open all the cabins. Let me see if I can show you. But all the doors here opens. And some of them hide small details. Like towels and stuff like that. Tiny bit of um, makeup right here. Some pills, the hair dryer, and someone ate a lollipop and just forgot all about it right here. So it's kind of melting all over the table. Down here we have some paper tissues and some um, ladies' things, a decoration, a tiny, tiny mouse in the corner, and of course the scale. I have a video about that one as well. So that was the bathroom. Let's go all the way up here to the kitchen. Where we have the kitchen table filled with a lot of uh, nice goodies. Stuff like that. The um, eating bowl for the little dog I have somewhere in the house. He actually moves around in here. Coffee machine, wine, fruit, bread. Oh, and on the other side of this little island right here is a dishwasher. Um, you can see that if you could look through the window, you could see the dishwasher. Uh, but it's oh, sadly not possible as it's standing as it is. And there's a little shelf unit. Oh, sorry about that. Then I have this long kitchen table and again all these drawers can be opened. Oh, see if I can do it. My fingers are just too big for this. There we go. And some of them contains a little thing or two like these over here and some of them don't milk and so on silver foil someone is cutting bread and tomatoes and making a few things and here we have the microwave that I made in a recent video the fridge here filled with a lot of things that's why it's opened um, but it can close and there is magnets and stuff like that on the outside a little freezer again can be closed and the stove with a little bread in there another drawer down here oops <laughs> Let me see if I can open that one. I don't think there is anything in there, so it doesn't really matter. No, it's empty. Small towels. And the doorway with a uh, crocheted um, thing that can be pulled uh, over if you want to. Another basket. Some more vegetables on this little table and some fish and so on onions I made those a long time ago I really should make some more of those that was fun the little mobile with the butterflies and um, this little pattern the little um, this little one. Um, that is kind of the mark in the house, so it's going 
across the rooms and it's on quite a lot of the furniture and so on. This one is a big cabin that is kind of drawn out like that and it's filled with cleaning utensils and stuff like that and uh, a holder for the brooms and up here I have Christmas decorations lying ready for Christmas so let me close that up again and let me see if I can get it close right there we go so that's the kitchen let's go to the dining room where someone is ready for having a nice party and there is cake for desserts and breads and potatoes and stuff like that and the big rock uh, I made that myself and it took like forever but I think it came out really really good so let's start over here on the wall first a painting that I made um, some small details I got this elephant from my husband um, that is uh, a video that just came out a little aquarium more pictures and a tiny owl in this magame or what it's called a little furniture again this can open and close a little elephant on the shelf the window with some paper cuttings another painting I made I think that is just with a uh, watercolor then I have this little shelf unit behind there with the mirror there's a few more of the elephants from my father and my little girl is sitting right there pictures and stuff like that and that is where the stairway stairways are coming up the stairs are coming up it's a little thing here and there on the stairs the little sword in there is actually a pin that I got from my father once then we have this room divider filled with all kinds of different things and the little piggy bank this one actually can hold coins and it can actually be opened in the bottom but I'm not gonna show you here I think I have a video of that somewhere card house someone is playing a game of chess and this table is a bit crooked but it's it's okay so we have the table here with the ladies uh, hobbies so this one is filled with hobby magazines and small thread spools and stuff like that and we have some knitting project lying here slippers she's knitting something a little bowl with different things in a lamp this one is not working but it's pretty neat so I like it um, decorated window a dollhouse that I made once long time ago with small different things in there it's actually pretty cute whoops this little picture I uh, um, cross stitch it stitched that as well the lamp is a new thing and I am going to make a video on that someday hopefully then we have the table over here with the floating uh, glass plate this little lamp is working and here we have a few pictures again of me and my family all of them are from my family small details and toys 
and games and these games contains everything so if you had the finger for it you could actually play them if you wanted to and a little drawer with some some more stuffs in here and I'm pretty sure I have stuff in these two drawers as well but I won't open them right now small paint and paint things and these actually these small wood blocks here actually can be uh, put together into a square uh, block or a box so these are actually a real little box so they work a backgammon game I have um, pictures on that on my homepage and the, uh, that is really really awesome I actually think I might have a video on that one uh, I'm not sure but that I'm not gonna do ever again a little draw oh that's not a draw that's a chest of course with a glass figure on there let's take the last room here so that's a fireplace and there we have the little doggy. So let's start over here. A decorated Easter egg. More of these uh, Easter lilies that I got from a friend in a trade. The little bird cage. Uh, the little horse is 3D printed and I hand, paint, hand, hand painted that one. And there is, of course, light in uh, the fireplace when the light is on. And the pretty, pretty window. Here we have a table with the guinea pig in. It's in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's sitting there. The doggy. The table with some glasses and some fruit. And stuff like that. The small candles are actually made of real candles so they could burn if I wanted to. A little bench. Uh, I made the little bench there because my dad actually had a bench like that next to his fireplace. Not totally like this one but he had a bench uh, next to the uh, fireplace that he actually made himself and I like that one. This one is made from the cap for a um, dishwasher soap and I actually think it looks really cool and there is light in it then a few pictures I found online and printed out and the big couch I actually think I have a how-to on my homepage for that one and again the carpet I made myself and you can see again I have this little symbol on and yeah that is my dollhouse in all its glory. So that was it for the tour of my dollhouse. I hope you enjoyed that. You saw almost everything. I know there's a few details here and there you didn't see. Uh, but you can see more of the details on my homepage. You can find the link in the info box below. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed showing this one to you. Uh, this is my big pride, so of course I like to show it. Um, anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!